Good morning, uh, Glenn here at Syngenta. Uh, I'm not in the UK at the moment, but I got some my first micro looking patch pictures of the season sent to me yesterday. There we go, beautiful. Um, and alongside that, they sent me some screenshots of the Greencast Microdokia model. So there we are. That's what the weather, that's what it was showing. It was showing a one going into that pressure, uh, not particularly high pressure. And then they're showing a spike for later this week um, of kind of freezing twos. Now, just for reference, the Greencast Microdokia model is a rating of zero to four zero being temperatures where we are away from the optimum pressure four being the optimum pressure for microdochium to be doing damage so when the pathogen is at its most active but the plant at is is at its least resistant so that was useful um sent that through um so the question is, looking at that data, could we have used anything to help us out? And the course manager's take was, actually, I did a better job personally of predicting the disease than the model did. And that is absolutely correct. There is no way models in their current state can outcompete a turf manager, an experienced turf manager, at predicting disease. But it can help. So let's have a little look at what is going on here. Where is it? There it is, turf advisor. So if we look at, this is my location, um, if we look at what's going on here, we are in zero, we've been in zero, which kind of reflects what I've been hearing locally, that the pressure has been low this year. But as we scroll through next week into the weekend, we can see that we have got pressure ramping up to freeze and fours. Now, if you remember what I was saying, the closer that is to four, the more optimum the temperature is for microdokia patch. So it's been crazy mild. The model is picking out that we are moving into more optimum temperatures next week. So absolutely be ready with your preventative programs if you haven't gone already. Now let's see how that's reflecting. So if we look at air temperature, we've been crazy mild down south, as I said already, looking 14, 15 to average temperatures. But if we look to where we're moving into next week, then the temperature is dropping off over the weekend. 8.7, 6, 5.4, 6.1. So temperature really dropping next week, moving us into microdokian pressure. But let's have a look at the two-week average, which I think is a really useful figure. In this two-week period, we're averaging 16 degrees compared to a historic 10-year average of 12, four degrees warmer. So I think that has kept us out of microdokian pressure, or if we've had microdokian, it certainly allowed us to recover quicker. But those opportunities are now disappearing. Humidity is really useful to look at as well. Humidity is ramping up in the next few days, up near 100% for a couple of days, even as we move into that cooler period, up into the 80s and high 70s. So that is all there. As you can see, I've set my dashboard up for microdosium with all the key factors on here. We can look at leaf wetness. Leaf wetness is really ramping up back end of this week. Not so much next weekend, but leaf really really high recently um 21 degrees today soil temperature saying but that is dropping off so as we go into those colder weather temperatures we're starting to get closer and closer to our danger period um for microdokia but also thinking about things like nematride and, and stuff like that coming on the horizon we should be looking at those soil temperatures so there you go um I've, that's how i've set my dashboard up yes microdokia patch model on there is okay it's a useful indicator but don't rely on it too much set your dashboard up to be looking at air temperature humidity leaf wetness rainfall soil temperature these are all the key factors growth potential so you can understand how you can come out of it these are more important to me than microdokium if you find microdokium model isn't working for you it's not brilliant we're working on better ones simply go to edit your dashboard and i would remove it and take it away if there are still loads of good metrics there, even without it, to help you understand what is coming down the line. We've been really, really mild. We're going to go into a cooler period. Things are going to start, start getting damper. Um, just have a think about your program. Are you already started? Is it time to start now? Is now time to get the fungicides out? Or can you keep working on your kind of slow it down strategies because you're in a good position? 
Um, I don't think there's any definitive answer to that. It's just understand where you are on your site and what you can do to put yourself in a better position because there are some challenges coming down the line.